Hello everyone, welcome to story time. Uh, I thought maybe you are interested a little bit in my life and I think this story is kind of cute. So make yourself comfy, get something to drink and let's jump into the story how I got my boyfriend. So just first things first, uh, me and my boyfriend, we had a friend. Like, uh, we had a friend together that know him and me, and uh, he asked us both to play League of Legends, and that when we first met. So, yeah. We met, uh, we met online at first, just playing League, and fooling around a little bit, like, you know, making jokes, messing around with each other. Uh, and that goes on for a year. After uh, and in that year, I realized that uh, something was developing, and that I started to have feelings for him. Like I knew it in my chest. It took me a little while to get those feelings through my heart and really realize that I that it's love and not like just friendship. But in the end, it worked. So I, I f found it out. And after a year, I was alone at home. No friends, no parents, uh, which was kind of kind of weird for me because I was living with my mom at this point. And then something in my brain was like, I don't want to be alone. I want to be with him. I want to be with him. I don't want to be with a friend. I don't want to. I don't want to be with friends. I don't want to be with my parents. I don't want to be with my family. I just want to be with him. And so I asked him if he has time on the weekend. And fortunately, he had. Well, <laughs> I mean, actually, <laughs> his mother and his sister should. Stay at his apartment for the weekend because they were on a Shunt Mall concert together. Uh, if you don't know Shunt Mall, it's the folk uh, music band that sings in German. So if you don't know it, it's. I mean, I don't like the music, he loves it. Do whatever you want with that information. All I can say is they sing in German and they do folk music. And I'm not a big fan of that. He is. Move on. <laughs> I guess. Uh, yeah, anyways. After he had kicked them out, uh, I could come on Friday evening. And that was perfect for me because that meant I had the weekend. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because uh, I could only go for like one or two days since I had a cat that I needed to take care of from a friend of mine and the cat needed food from time to time so I only was able to do like driving super late on Friday which was kind of good because he had the console and coming back let's say two days later maximum to give the cat food again I mean it was a uh, it was not an apartment cat, so it was kind of fine. Whatever, the cat, the cat doesn't meant to do anything with the story. We should keep on track. So yeah, so I start uh, driving and I drove over 500 kilometers just to see this person one weekend. And I never have met him before, don't worry. So, and the, on the way it was, like, it was late, it was dark, it was... Very stormy, like literally rain everywhere. It was raining so hard I could barely see anything. And I was driving. It was slow and steady and I, I can't remember what exactly happened. But on the way I had an accident. No one was hurt, so don't worry, I was fine, the other person was fine. 
Um, everywhere were fine. Everyone was fine. But my car wasn't. You could uh, see that it had the body damage in the front. But I, I did not realize the, the moment it happened. So no one of us called the police because they had to move on. I had to move on. Or I wanted to move on. Because as I said, I really, really wanted to meet him. He was like making my heart beat crazy at that point. Uh, and so I moved on and drove and drove. Nothing really happened. I was still a little bit uh, in the shock from the accident, but moved on. Or should I say I drived on <laughs> because I drive? Whatever. And when I finally was there, there was there were many apartments. Or like buildings with apartments in it and I had no clue where exactly I, I should like ring the bell or like call or, or, or whatever I had no clue it looked like the wrong place for me and then there came a few people by so I tried to ask them I was literally I was so nervous because I bar I, I was in a city I don't know it was, I was in a city, I don't know, it was freaking dark outside. And I do not know the people and I have social anxiety. This was the most painful thing I could be in. It was so stressful. Even talking about it right now makes my heart beat race. It's, it's a whole other level. So yeah, I... I asked him where I can find uh, this in this apartment because I had his exact, like, address. God damn it, bro. Uh, yeah. And they told me that I need to go. And then I rang on the door and he opened the door. And I was still in shock. Th that's really important for what happened. So he opened the door. And I was just reflexly putting him in my arms, leaning him against me, and started crying like a little baby. I was, I, I was so exhausted from everything that happened. It was, I really, really tried not to cry, but I couldn't do anything against it. So I just, I just put him in my arms. And start crying like <laughs> I just started crying. And he comforted me and we went upstairs. And uh, we took a meal together and cuddled. That's what it just comforting me having a Having a night that I can just calm down. And I felt myself quite comfy, which was another thing for me to see. I really love this person. This person could be the person that I was looking for all the time. Maybe not, but you know, it could be. Because normally I'm not comfy around people and I was comfy around him. And, and I just reflex... Oh, sorry. <laughs> I just reflexly uh, hugged him and everything, and it was. It, it, I, I cannot explain it how much feelings I had at this moment. So, after that comforting, we went to sleep. After eating, it was nice. So, on the next day, after breakfast, uh, we went to a swimming pool, like a public swimming pool, local, somewhere in the next city, not in the city he's living in, in the next city, he told me where I need to drive, and we went there. And it was quite fun, uh, because I love swimming and messing around in the water, 
And so we did both in, uh, on the same day. Hit some cool slides. And one of them was completely dark. You couldn't see anything in it. And that's where something special happened. Because I took him close to me. And we went down the slide together. And on the slide, while we were, were in the dark zone, like literally dark, it was not pitch black, but it was really black and dark. And you could barely see the shapes of, I could barely see the shapes of his body. I started kissing him on the way, uh, way down. And that was our first kiss, which again, I loved. It felt so right and so good. So, and... I think he felt the same because we repeated that going on, slide down, kissing, going up, slide down, kissing, going up, slide down, kissing. We repeated that a few times, messing around in the water, and I started to tease him. There was one outside uh, swimming pool, and I was going underwater and started to tease him a little bit. Just to, to, to test the water and everything before felt so wrong. I never had any feelings like that before. Before I met him, sex or sexual activities, teasing, whatever, was really, really not my type. Just get it away from me, for real. I could never get used to it. I never needed it and I met him. I still don't need it, but not disgusting for me anymore and so it was the first time I doing something like this <laughs> teasing him yeah and also that felt so right and he <laughs> he really uh, fall for the teasing and got uh, really horny that you could see it in the swimming pool that he got the boner it was pretty funny and uh, to round off the day, he invited me to a Greek restaurant. The food was amazing, but what really was stuck in my head, uh, what really stuck in my head is there was a kid or like there was a family next to us. We were talking with them because they were from the same region I am. And so we started talking a little bit after I realized that I'm not from here. And they had a little child. And that child was asking questions. One of the questions was, if we are a couple. And this was the first weekend we met. We had no clue to what to answer. Like, he didn't know. I didn't know. It felt like we were together in the, in the swimming pool. But we haven't talked about it yet. What do we say to a little child that is asking if we are together? Like, wh what have, would you have done? Uh, we were so done with the situation. We had no clue what to say. We just looked at it, each other in an am amazement and didn't know what to answer. And TBH, I still wouldn't know. I don't know if we were together at that point or not. Like, as I said, we were just messing around, teasing, playing League of Legends together. This was the first time we met. It felt right. Everything felt right. But it could... But, but you know, we never talked about it. We never gave the, the child a name. I mean, it was only the second day, so why should we, right? And so I still... Still have no clue what I would answer to that child. But I guess thanks to that child, he also raised the question. Do we want to be together? Or do we want to be a couple? Do we have feelings for each other? Like this child, I'm pretty sure without this child, uh, we would not sit here together right now. I mean, he's a drug, but you know. Once he's done, he's back here and we're living together and everything and being together. Without that child, I'm 5 million percent sure we wouldn't be together. So, 
Whoever this child is, big freaking thank you. You made my day there. But that isn't the only thing. So we, uh, so so we couldn't answer the question, and we moved on with our dinner. And after the restaurant, we went in his apartment again, and talked about it. Like, do we have feelings for each other? Obviously, I had. Uh, luckily, he had two for me. So we had feelings for each other, and we decided that we want to be together. We want to give it a try. And yeah, since then we are together. And all that happened in the year 2018. So five years ago since then, a lot has changed. We live together now, as I mentioned in the video already. And we are engaged for over two years. I still want to marry him. He's the love of my life. I could imagine living without him. And I love him more than everyone else. Beside our little baby. Like, maybe I can talk about this another time. But we have a little cat. It's, it's one year old. And he's so adorable. And if he, if something happens to him, I would kill everyone. And then myself. Like Rosa Diaz from Brooklyn Nine-Nine, if you know the scene. But beside our oh, little baby, he's the person I love the most. He's the, the human I love the most. I can say that for sure. Oof. Well, that was the story. And I need to take a break because going through all of this was a roller coaster of emotions again. Thanks for listening. I hope you liked the story. If you do so, leave a like and a comment and let me know what you want to know about me. Maybe I can do it story time again. And bye! Have a good one, everyone!